friends, and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another weekly challenge. In today's session, I'm going to challenge you to learn three powerful positions of the major scale shown here in the key of C. Now, this is going to connect with my previous challenge videos from two weeks ago. I asked you to start uh, memorizing the names of the notes on the fretboard, and then the following week after that, I showed you how you can figure out which notes are in a given key, asking you to memorize your natural major keys. So, for this week, I want you to practice these three powerful positions and actually maximize your practice time by reciting the names of the notes that you're playing in each of these positions. I got a full PDF study guide waiting for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons to help you with your study. Now, let's get started. Okay, jumping into section one. A quick review of the theory behind the major scale shown here in the key of C major. So, the major scale is created by traveling through the musical alphabet A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, in a particular sequence of whole steps and half steps. We've talked about this before. It's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So, if I find C on my third fret A string and I travel through that sequence, there's a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step. Whole step half step drops me back off to C. So, what we end up with is seven notes and an octave. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. All naturals. Now that we know the theory behind the C major scale, we're gonna play it on multiple strings in three must-know positions. Okay, on to section two, the C major scale in the common E position. And it's gonna be called that because it's hanging out in the same position as the C major chord played here with our major bar shape, which kind of looks like an E, right? It's literally just the E major chord shape transposed to the key of C. Okay, and in this position we have. Okay, usually one of the first things I teach students uh, in private lessons, this major scale in the common E position. Okay, so that began with the eighth fret of the low E string, C, our root note. Going a whole step up to D. Then onto the A string, we're gonna have the seventh fret, E, C, D, E. A half step up to F, and a full step up to G. So far you have C, D, E, F, G. Going to the D string, we're gonna have seventh fret A, a whole step up to B, and a half step back to C to complete that octave. Okay, now play through, recite the notes, and sing each of the tones. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, now going into the next octave, we're going to have the seventh fret of the G string. That's going to be D. A whole step up to E. A half step to F. Now going to the B string, we're going to have G. Okay, that's going to be the eighth fret. Okay, people get stuck there quite often. A whole step up to A. Then on to the high E string, seventh fret, we're going to have B, a half step to C, and then completing the position, we can go another whole step up to D. Okay, for this first position in the C major scale. Okay, so at this point, you might wanna pause the video, practice over and over again, get comfortable, then jump in with me as I play through the entire scale, ascending and descending, being sure to recite the names of the notes in pitch. Getting started. One, two, three, four. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. 
okay, playing with the octaves there on the vocal, that way I'll be able to sing through the entire scale in two octaves. Okay, excellent work everybody. We have that major scale in its common position down. Practice that every single day. Use it as a tool to memorize the notes on the fretboard and also practice it in different keys just by starting on a different fret. For the beginners out there, that's your weekly challenge. That's your assignment. Practice that, get it down, make a little video, tag me on Twitter. I'd love to see you playing it as your weekly assignment. Now, let's go on to section number three. It's going to be the C major scale in the E and D hybrid position. Okay, so next I'm showing you the C major scale in what I call the E and D hybrid position. This is because it's gonna wrap around the C chord in this E shape position and also in this D shape position. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so that began with the same exact note, C on that low E string eighth fret. On this E string we're gonna have C, D, E, 8, 10, 12. We're gonna have the same exact finger positions for the A string. Okay, so that was F, G, A. Okay, then going on to the D string, we're going to have B, C, D. That was 9, 10, 12. That's one octave plus that D note in the next octave. So we have. Okay, then going on to E, F, and G. Same finger pattern that we had for the D string. So far you have. Okay, then we're gonna go up a fret. We're going to the B string, 10th fret for A. Going up a whole step to B, and then finding the next octave, C, right there on the B string, uh, 13th fret. Okay, now two octaves. And we can get into the next octave, still in this position. Okay, playing 10, 12, 13, and that is D, E, and F. All right, now the entire scale. And backwards. Okay, for your C major scale in the E and D hybrid position. Okay, very good everybody. We now have two very useful positions of the C major scale down, and we're about to go into my personal favorite one that is very, very easy to use for improvisation, and it's called the G position. Okay, outlining the G chord transposed to C, or G shape position. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, let's break this down. Okay, so once we have this down, we're gonna have literally a 10 fret span of notes that we can use to jam over the key of C major. Getting started with the pinky now. Low E string, eighth fret, that's C. A whole step to the A string, fifth fret, D. A whole step to E, and a half step to F. C, D, E, F. To the A string, we have G, fifth fret. A whole step up to A. A whole step to B on the G string, fourth fret. And a half step back to C, finishes the first octave. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, a whole step to D. A whole step to the B string, fifth fret. For E. A half step to F. A whole step to G. Okay, then to the high E string, we're gonna have A, B, and a half step finishes it up, C. Now let's play through that entire G position of the C major scale. 
One of the most magical things about this particular position is that it can be reduced very easily to the major pentatonic scale, which I'm sure that many of you have already seen. Okay, just playing eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. And then all the notes that you're emitting from this can just become kind of a notes that you use for extra flavor. Okay, for that G position of the C major scale, congratulations everybody, you've got three powerful positions to practice, and you're on your way to mastering a 10 fret span of notes that you can use to jam over the key of C. Enjoy your practice. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on three must-know positions of the major scale. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're getting this stuff down, you're able to navigate the fretboard and jam over some major keys in these positions, then I want to see what you can do. Be sure to tag me on Twitter, at Swift Lessons. I want to thank my patrons at patreon.com slash swiftlessons for making all these lessons possible. I hope you're enjoying your extra content. I got many more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.